Okay, so me and Mike, we're walking in Connorsville, Pennsylvania, just through some trails, hiking and stuff, and uh, come across this nice uh, old rail trussel. You can see that it's no longer in use. I mean, the tracks don't even come back this far anymore. Mike's already starting to walk. So uh, we're going to follow it and see where it takes us out. You guys are going to come with us. A nice little drop right there. If you uh, miss the trussle there. Okay guys, we're gonna head on. You can kinda see what it's like down there. Definitely pretty high up, I mean. I'm just now getting out of the dirt and starting to cross the river here. It's a pretty beautiful sight. Where we're at, around here. A very old trussle. We'll have to look into it a little bit and we'll let you guys know when it was built, how long it was in use, and when they stopped using it. Definite. If you was to fall, you would either be injured very badly or maybe dead. There's a view of Cornersville City all the way over there. So we are definitely on the outskirts. kind of give you guys a look we're gonna we'll zoom in and show you how far we're gonna go and then I'm gonna pause you guys for a while until we find something else that is interesting to record so for now we're just gonna pause you guys and we're gonna be on our way hiking until we find something more interesting Stay tuned, because we'll be back. Okay, guys, so me and Mike, we uh, made it off the trussel up there, as you can see the trussel up there. And uh, we're down by the creek, right beside the river. The river's on the other side of us. But we're in between Cornersville and Dawson. And we're just going to kind of hike the creek and see what we can see if we see anything good we'll turn you guys back on and let you be a part of our adventure so till then have fun Got a train passing us right now CSX not a very big one CSX 
but uh, as you can see, we're still walking pretty much by the creek there. You can kind of see the creek there and then the river right over there somewhere. But uh, just thought it'd be cool to let you guys see the train coming past. So we'll come back to you here in a few. Okay, so we're back. Still hiking through the woods as you can see. And uh, there's the river right beside us. And at this time, we found some kind of ruins or something. We're gonna make our way over to it. Yeah. Looks like it might have been some kind of silo or something. Like Mike said, some type of silo from an old farm or something. Not quite sure. Uh, maybe we'll do a little bit of homework when we get back and see what the history of this little area is and see if we can figure out what that is there. And uh, we'll get back to you and let you know what it was. Okay, so we're going to continue walking. See if there's anything else we can find. If we find anything good, we will share it with you guys. So, we'll be back in a few. Okay, so we've been hiking a little bit. We come across another bridge. The locals call this bridge West Draw, or some prefer it as the Painted Bridge. And Mike's already starting across, but I just wanted to kind of get a zoom up of it and show you guys a little bit of the paintings. I don't know exactly how good you can see them. I'm trying my best here. But uh, what I'll do is I'll pause you till I get right up on the paintings and the graffiti, and we'll. Uh, record a little bit more at the graffiti okay see you in a few seconds okay so I so I decided to start a little bit sooner than I, than I expected but that's only because Mike decided to get up on the rail and walk across here as you can see just standing there and that's that's not a small drop I mean yeah there's water under him so he'd probably be okay but at the same time that's not no small drop and it looks like he's gonna crawl up to the top so let's uh let's record that to kind of show you how far he's actually going up. And he's up there pretty far. I'm going to pause you guys for a minute until I get up to him so I can show you exactly how far he is up. Okay? Be back in a few seconds. Alright, so I climbed out onto this pillar here so as I can show you guys just exactly how far Mike is up. You look down here. I mean, here's the trussle part. I'll zoom in a little bit. You can kind of see that way when I zoom back out. Kind of see. I don't know if that helps, but let me step back here some. You can see Mike's all the way up there. Yeah, I'm coming down. And he's coming back down. Hehehehe <laughs> 
again. Just sit down here a minute so I can kind of show you. I mean, you can see, if you look, just, just look at the pillar right over there. And you can see how far that is. And then all the way up, all the way up there. And that's where Mike was, all the way up there, on top. And this is what the locals call the Painted Bridge, Westraw. So, Mike's crawling out on the side limbs here. He's just goofing off now, having a little bit of fun. Just making it a little more adventurous for you guys. And as you can see, if he falls, I mean, I'm not sure exactly how deep this is right this time, but it'd probably hurt a little bit. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe he just freezed to death. I don't know. But for now, we're going to just let you guys stew for a couple minutes until we find something else. So. Till then, be right back. Okay, so we're back again. We made it right off the bike trail now in Connorsville. And we happened to spot a opening in the rocks up, up there. It's right there. And Mike's going to make his way up over this cliff side here. He's almost there. He's going to go check it out. Let me know if it's worth going into and checking out for you guys. So if it's worth it, we're going to make the climb up there. And we'll be recording inside there for you. We'll find out once he gets up to the top there. And makes his way up there. So he can let us know. No go? Well, it was worth a shot. It looked good from down here. And he's going to make his way back down. Trying to show you, he's still kind of up there a good way. Okay, and he's almost back down, so battery's starting to go pretty low. I'm gonna let you guys kind of see him coming down here.
You can barely see him in there, crackling around. And he's pretty much down. So, I'm going to let you guys go for now unless we find something nice again. So, goodbye for now. Okay, so, we're back real quick. I just wanted to point something out to you guys. Okay, so, we was all the way over there. And there's the original trussle that we crossed in the beginning of the video to get over there. And then we made it all the way around to that painted trussle that you guys seen. Ended up on the bike trail here in between Connorsville and Vanderbilt. We're actually in Connorsville, but still on the bike trail. But I just wanted to show you some stuff. It's pretty cool that Connorsville has plaques up here. There's some stuff that you can see. Zoom out here a little bit. You kind of see that. And then all of this. some cool stuff right here and it's all about Collinsville and whatnot you can kind of see let me get up on it here get you a good This would be Stewart's Crossing. And during the French and Indian War. And see the date there? General Braddock's crossed here in 1755 let's go up here the brimstone building nineteen oh one okay let's kinda give you All right, and that's about all for this right this minute. If we find anything cool again on the way, we'll uh, record. But for now, we'll be back soon. Thank you. Go over to me and I'll explain what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to 
head down here and see Mike's been doing most of the adventuring today. Uh, I'm gonna head down here. There's this looks like a pillared wall of some type made out of uh, railroad ties. And we want to kind of see what it is. If it was an old trestle or if it's blocking a wall of some sort. I'm gonna head down and look. Let you know if it pans out to anything. Railroad tie structure. I don't know if it's here to hold up the hillside. Oh no, there's a tunnel down here. There is a tunnel down here. This is the tunnel that goes across to the other side of the river. You want to come on down real quick and see if it's not too deep, maybe we'll walk through. Go ahead and pause until you get down here. Are you still recording then? Yep. We live. that stuff there. Looks like it'd be a little easier to get to over there and you can see. Okay people so we was up there and we noticed that it was a railroad tie structure. So we made our way down and we made our way across that and over here and there's Mike Air and this is the tunnel it's pretty cool it's definitely old I'll have to look into it to see exactly how old but I just figured we would uh, bring, bring you guys down to look at it with us and we're gonna let you go for a few minutes or so until we find something cool again. So see you in a few. Thank you. 